All right, DJ Wanham, Atlanta Lakes Field, OTA day number six. Well, practice number six just passed, and DJ, uh, day one when I first saw you out there at practice, I was like, okay, this guy gained some weight this offseason. Like, he, he really put, you know, his, his mouth where his money is, and, man, I, I feel like that's starting to translate to what we saw at practice so far, right? Yeah, 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 definitely, man. Uh, just looking back at last season, you know, I was definitely, you know, undersized, kind of smaller especially playing a four technique. So this off season, my big goal was to, you know, get stronger, you know, put on some weight and be able to move with it, be able to, you know, move side to side. And, and I did that. So what did that, yeah. what did that off season regime look like for you? I know you said you, you went back home to Atlanta to, to go train. What did that look like? Yeah. So basically a typical day was, you know, I wake up, uh, I go lift, go run. And then, you know, I do some extra, you know, uh, defensive line work, you know, uh, Chuck Smith out in Atlanta. So, mm -hmm. Uh, different things like that, as well as yoga, massages, you know, trying to keep my body right. Because, you know, I learned last year was a long season. So <laughs> just different things like that, yeah. Understanding that, man, just understanding how to be a pro now. How did that help you in your, I would say, your mental process of getting ready for this offseason? Oh, it helped me out a lot because, you know, you got to approach every day, you know, every second as, you know, saying it's your last one. You got to bring your, your best foot forward each, you know, each day. So, you know what I'm saying, just going the off season, you know, you know, I worked on that, you know, and just, you know, coming out this year, I'm expecting big things. So I'm expecting big things too. I think Vikings fans are also. I was talking to JJ earlier this week, Justin Jefferson, and I was like, dude, like even for you, you know, going into year two, like this is OTA number one. Like, yeah. what is this period being like for you? Like just being getting accustomed to the players before the season even start. Right. Say, say that I can't hear you. Not nah, getting accustomed to your teammates before the season even starts. What has that been like for you? Uh, just you know, it's a big, you know, it's a big step. You know, getting to you know familiarize, you know, learn about different people, and you know, it's like a brotherhood. You build it, you know, during the off season. When it's time to go, it's time to go. So, uh, just having these guys and being around each other this year versus what we had last year, it's, it's, it's definitely a big step forward. Man, we know Coach Dre, he's a realist, right? Like, he, he keeps yeah. it 100 with, with all his players. And I know he always say, like, you know, this is what I want this guy to do. This is what I want this guy to do. Without giving yeah. the fans too much, what was his thing for you? Uh, basically just, you know, moves. You know, obviously pass rushing is a big thing in the NFL. You know, learning different moves and putting on weight, you know, was, was a big thing for me. And I worked on that. And it's, it's going to be a big year. It's going to be a big year. So I, I guess yeah. with that big year, like where are you in your goal setting process for the 2021 season? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give too much away because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let y'all see. But, you know what I'm saying? Just right now is, you know, cracking that starting line. That's, that's a big goal for me. And, you know, put the work in and, you know, let God handle the rest. Man, awesome, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. We got a long, I think it's what, 60 days until training? Well, 65-ish days until training camp. So we got some time until the past. Come on. I know you got that itch already. Yep, yep, yep. We got that itch, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Best of luck, man. I appreciate you.